we're awake. Hey. Morning. Actual morning this time. I don't know, I think Stella filmed a clip earlier. She woke up at, I think she woke up at six or five something. Five something. She took a shower. I did take a shower. And she's like, definitely woke me up. We have a really small place. She had the lights on, she had the vent going, and the, the door was open. So it was really bright when she woke me up. So I, I stayed in bed until like 7. Then I got up and I took a shower, and now I'm up. I'm up, 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 up. We're up. You want to get have breakfast? Yep, but I mean, we slept at like 12 30 or something a.m. yesterday. And we woke up, Michelle woke up at like 5 something today, so that's like 5 hours of sleep. And then I got. So you got five hours of sleep? No, I went from 12.30 to like 6.30. So I got six hours of sleep. It's really weird because prior to this, when we were on a wonky schedule of sleeping at like 9 p.m. and then waking up. You sleep double. Nope, that's the wrong time. That's the wrong one. That's what normal people do. Sleeping at 9 a.m. and then waking up like at 9 p.m. We would sleep for 12 hours. That's not 12. But now we're only sleeping for like six hours. So I don't recommend messing up your sleep schedule like that. That's we're really off and even trying to fix it. Brain doesn't like it. Yeah. It's a little long, I gotta trim it. It's okay. Okay. Gonna get some breakfast. Make some breakfast um, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then uh carry on with her day. And here's the the bacon. This is what I like to do, so she freezes it and I'll just kind of steam it to really quickly get the bacon to defrost and then I'll take off the lid and let it uh, crisp back up after all of it's been defrosted. Wait, why are you putting butter in there? Why? Is that how you make buttermilk? Oh. What? Do you put anything in there? Nothing for you. Do you think it stayed in? What stayed in? There's a shell. Why would you leave the shell in there? Do you want to eat the shell? No, why would you leave the shell? Why did you crack a shell in there? Well, I knew it would stay at the bottom. So I wasn't going to try and fish it out. It's ready. Bacon and eggs. Now I gotta make the eggs because <laughs> I say waffles. And then my favorite, Mrs. Butterworth. She knows what's going on. Boop. Boop. It is 11 o'clock, but I was pretty much, I was tired at like 9 after I finished breakfast. I'm finding the urge to sleep, but I don't know. Since I only got like 5 or 6 hours of sleep, I feel like it's more okay and acceptable for me to sleep. And I'm hoping that I'd wake up in like 2 hours, and since it's not yet past like 12, 
like, oh yeah, it's like still the morning. And I just wake up in two hours and it'll be like one o'clock and then it'll be as if I woke up at one. But I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sleep yet. Stella doesn't seem tired, so. Just a little update with our, uh, oops, pickled mustard plant, whatever we decided to call it. Still got some little air bubbles here. They should work themselves free, but it's getting, uh, it's getting there. It's yellowing, a little leaves are darkening. Still got five more days in the process, so we'll come in and uh, check on it again tomorrow. Hey guys, we took a nap. Go figure. I'm sure some of you already probably guessed we were gonna do that. It's 8:45 p.m. Do you miss Jeopardy? We miss Jeopardy. Our sleep schedules now super wonky again. Oh gosh, our two-hour nap. We're gonna nap until like two o'clock. Has turned into an eight. Eight hour nap. It's very frustrating to try and get our sleep schedule up, up to snuff. And I don't know why. Even though I slept for five hours, I just my body decided that I needed another eight hours of sleep. Oh gosh, this is rough. Ah, nah, I don't know what's gonna happen to our sleep schedule anymore. Well, it's our little update.